All right, guys, it's finally time for another five more beloved Hell Let Loose plays. Of late, the community has been run ragged and started to divide. And even despite the brilliant dev update recently, there still seems to be some grumpy butts in the community. And what better way to unite my brothers and sisters than to talking about our favorite, amazing, weird, and wacky players. So we're gonna get stuck into it, sit down, get ready, leave a like if you enjoy it, subscribe if you wanna see more, and if I've missed anyone out, let me know down in the comments. Coming up at number five is the Roll Switcher. Now, Hell Let Loose is a game with many roles and shifting situations, sticking to one role for the entire game just doesn't make sense, at least in my eyes. But most obviously just wanna keep their STG 44 for all the sweet, sweet kills that they can get with that overpowered beast of a gun. However, I say to thee, these are not true Hell Let Loose players. They're here for the kills and the glory. Glory does not come from kills alone in this game. No, no, no. Glory comes from working as a team to complete a common objective, which is to smash the enemy's face in with an overpowering sense of accomplishment, nodes, garrisons, just all, everything else about the game other than the kills. That's what's important, guys. I'm only saying that because I suck and I don't get many kills. So the real MVPs are these guys who just at the drop of a hat will switch to support because the squad leader needs that garrison put up ASAP or a tank is on its way to attack your beautiful defenses and this hero will be like, I'm doing it, I'm on AT, satchels, whatever you want, AT gun, I'm building it, I'm on there. You need suppression fire for an overly confident push on an enemy position. What does this guy do? Boom, MG roll. Suppression coming out of his butt, face, eyes, ears, everything. The selfless nature of these players is what inspires me to keep trying to be a better player. More players need to be able to switch to a role to help the team win. Now I realize I am banging an old drum or kicking a horse that's dead. I don't know the expressions that work here, but trust me guys, if you want them big old fat W's in your lives, this is the way to do it. So an overzealous salute to you fine young gentlemen and ladies from me and anyone else with any sense and some respect. Good on you guys. The sniper teams who actually harass the enemy backline, hunt down garrisons and nodes and generally just wind up the enemy team. Now I know, I know, before everyone starts going crazy, the main function of the sniper role in the game's current meta is to constantly harass the artillery and blind them with rage. However, I will remind you of one fact. There's two recon teams and you only need one sniper to mess with artillery. You don't even need to be good. You could just, just shooting at them closely will probably keep the enemy artillery at bay for a certain amount of time. Now that leaves one more beautiful bastard with a sniper rifle and an encouragingly handsome, beautiful spotter. Now this guy, he can go off into the wilderness, the edges of the map, snaking through the grass like a little chinchilla. I need to work on analogies. I'm not very good at this. But my point being, they can hunt down the garrisons, the nodes, sniff them out like a <laughs> little truffle pig. They can camp them, killing anyone that dares poke their head out of spawn in the t pose position or better yet cover their spotter who moves in and dismantles said garrison or nodes this is invaluable for your team constantly meaning that the commander and other squad leaders are having to re-erect these garrisons and nodes wasting supplies time manpower which means all the boys on the front are having that little bit of an easier time and when they finally break through, there's no resistance. There's no back line. There's no backup for these poor, helpless idiots who have neglected to hunt down this sniper. And again, what does this all translate to? I hear you cry and ask in the comments down below. Wins, that's what. More wins, which means more glory to you and your house. Now these are obviously a rare beast. And when they appear, man, you better be licking their toes and giving them back rubs, I tell you what. Or just, you know, a, a commendation at the end of the round or something if they've done really well. Don't, you don't have to be weird about it. Next up, we have the Battle Buddy. Now this is that rare unicorn of a player 
who ends up becoming your pal for the entire game, and somehow you turn into an unstoppable duo. Again, another rare find, but in Hell Let Loose, sometimes this happens, and you make a friend, or even two, and instantly your mutual love for offensive jokes and nonsensical references to old memes and beloved franchises causes you to unite and synchronise in a way that no one else will ever understand. You become a well-oiled machine, watching each other's backs, supporting every single move and essentially becoming an unstoppable force for teamwork. <sighs> then the game ends and you never see them again. Or you pester them over and over again on Steam chat saying, hey, do you want to play Hell It Looks again sometime? It was really fun. I think we were a good team. Sometimes it works. Who knows? Now in the penultimate spot for the greatest of all Hell Let Loose players are the defenders. Now I spoke about these beautiful bastards before and their infrequency within the game, but the phrase all commanders long to hear, aside from good job commander, you're the best commander I've ever seen, I love you so much, oh my god, you're the best player ever, is a squad leader offering his squad up for the role of defence. And better yet, actually bloody does it. They will coordinate with their squad to be in the right position at the right time. All areas are covered with solid defence, ensuring that all members are in the right role to make sure everyone is as effective as they can be. Barbed wire, bunkers, AT mines, guns, everything, covering all the potential routes for sneaky bastard patrols and tanks. And in an even rarer case, sometimes they are coordinating with another squad on defense doing the exact same thing. And in those situations, you feel like you're in the middle of a trailer. A good one, <laughs> obviously. And it is probably one of the best experiences in Hell Let Loose. You'll never change my mind. That is all. Except for I know some are sitting here watching if they've made it this far and probably thinking that this is something I've concocted in my mind while asleep. But I assure you, friends, this does happen. And these selfless bastards need a show of appreciation, and that's what I'm doing right now. But as I said, these beasts are rare. So I've taken it upon myself to ensure that my squad, a band of happy-go-fucky squad mates, are always ready to take up the defensive mantle and protect your beautiful next point. Now, if you ever want to join me in some of these antics, shenanigans, whatever you want to call it, join the Discord. And it may just happen to you. Now, the final member of the elite. The Grand Fromage. It's late. The games are starting to wane. You're starting to think about playing something else. Or even, God forbid, going to bloody bed. Thinking, what a dreadful game that just was. Then you see Purple Heart Lane or Foy. Or Allied Side Omaha Offensive. And you've already settled in for an absolute thrashing. Morale is non-existent. And the thought of getting your testicles stomped in the next defeat is mortifying. You sit in the transport, landing craft, what have you, and get ready for death. And then you hear it. An angelic voice starting to belt out one of the most incredible songs ever written by a human being. To your surprise, another person in the truck picks up the song. Let's get down to business to defeat the heart. They begin harmonizing, and then another. And before you know it, the entire transport truck is singing together, laughing. Pathetic lot, and you haven't got a clue. Completely unaware that an artillery shell sent by the enemy is already on its way to land directly onto your truck. I'm never gonna catch my breath. Hats off to these harmonising deities. May their OPs be updated regularly. May their garrisons be hidden and well placed. To me and to many others, these guys make the game. The community may sometimes ridicule these people, tell them to shut up, but sometimes these guys have turned around a pretty boring or morale draining game and made me laugh my arse off. Even if you lose, it doesn't matter. Spirits are now lifted. The game is hilarious. It doesn't matter what happens. All right, guys, that was my five more most beloved Hell Let Loose players. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a like. Subscribe for more. Let me know your favorite type of player down in the comments. 
Before doing that, I will urge you to watch my previous video on the most beloved Hell Let Loose players because I may have already covered them. And while you're at it, watch a bunch more videos. If you're feeling negative, I have two videos on the most hated players. So I've got, I've got you all covered, guys. Anyway, that's enough from me. I've been McBluffin, and I'll see you all in the next one.